Hi there, this is Steve from Open Flight Solutions, and I'm going to show you how to upgrade a flight box with the latest version of our uh, AHARS kit. So the first thing we're going to need to do is kind of take a look at what comes in the kit. The latest versions of the kit actually come with a new top, complete with fan, uh, all ready to go. So there's really nothing you're going to need to do other than put this on the top. And then it comes with the AHARS board, which comes in this little metal metalized uh, Mylar pack. We'll tear that open, and here is the actual AHARS board. Uh, this is going to mount inside the box. It's going to go on top of that 40-pin header, and we're in the last, in the original kits, you, uh, you actually connected the fan up to the 40-pin header. Now you're going to connect the 40-pin, or pardon me, you're going to connect the fan up to that and put this onto that 40-pin header on the Raspberry Pi. Uh, it's a much quicker install than it was before. We've sort of simplified it. So first step, let's take the top off. The old top will be discarded. You won't need it anymore. Same with the fan. And because we've got it all now assembled, you really don't have to do anything other than take it apart, remove this, and done. So what we're going to do is we're going to install it so that this board mounts on these pins. Now we need to make one small change. We've included a couple of uh, standoffs, these little plastic bits that you use. We're only going to put them in on this side. One goes here at one end of the 40-pin uh, connector, one goes there. We used to put one in there, but it has a, a habit of cracking some of those other small parts, so we stopped doing that. So to do this, you'll remove each of these two screws, screw out, and then to install it, you're just going to put it into the top of this standoff, line the standoff up, put it in, screw it into place, you're going to want to make it line up so that the flat edge lines up with the, one of the flat edges lines up with the edge on the 40-pin uh, uh, header, so you'll have more room to fit the um, board on. So you'll repeat that process on the other screw, again on the other end of that 40-pin connector. Ready to pull it out. Shouldn't have had as much coffee as I did today. There we go. All right, get that down into place. These aren't absolutely necessary. They can be kind of a pain to put in. Um, they do keep the board as level as possible, but the board actually stays pretty level on its own. So we, uh, we sold these for a while without any standoffs. And we had enough people say, hey, I'd, I'd really like to have something, so. Going back to putting two in. So remove those screws, leaving the standoffs in place. So there you see that. Next thing is we'll put the standoff, or pardon me, we'll put the board on. Now you're going to want to make sure if you look in there, you can see that there's uh, that it's lining up properly on all 40 of the pins, and it's having no problem fitting down smoothly. It'll fit down and will sort of snap into place. Um, it won't go all the way down. You'll see a little bit of the metal of the pins on there. That's fine. That's normal. Um, and then just put the screws back into place. Nice and snug, but not too tight. It's plastic. You don't want to strip it out. There we go. Next step, connect up our fan. And then keep the cable out of the way, especially if you have the GPS at the other end. This particular box has a uh, um, just the extender for the remote GPS, but if you've got the internal GPS, you'll want to make sure that you don't put that wire over the top of it. Once that's on, kind of look around, make sure that the screw holes line up, and then put your screws back in. Now, if you did order the replacement uh, internal GPS, this would be an opportune time to disassemble it just a little bit further and pop that GPS into place. So, once we've got these screws back in place, 
That's really all there is to it. You'll need to make sure you've, you're updated to the latest version of the software. And that if you hadn't had you know, them turned on before, you go into the settings options and you turn on the attitude and the altitude sensors. And that's what it takes to upgrade a flight box. Thank you very much.